Hi, Joe. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good, good. It's been a couple of years since we did an interview about sort of Wi-Fi and iPads and things like that, just kind of following up here. So um, do you have access to your own computer or tablet at home at this point? I do. I have a tablet, it's an iPad. I think it's the same as the school, mm -hmm. <laughs> the school one. So. Great. Great, great. Um, did you get that one just be, did you get it before the school uh, issued you one or afterwards or? I think I got it afterwards uh -huh. for Christmas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was it because you used an iPad a lot? You kind of liked having it? You wanted your personal one or just, it just seemed like a cool thing yeah, to have? Yeah, I wanted a personal one. Yeah, good, good. Very good. All right, um, let's see. Do you, and you have a high-speed Wi-Fi yeah. at home? Great. Um, how often in class do you think you're studying things on like personal interest, like skills you need to work on or things you're interested in um, uh, or things you need to improve upon? I'd say it's about 50% of the time. So you said about 50% of the yep. time? 50%? Great. And that's really good to hear. Excellent. Are there any particular classes that sort of you feel do this really well, either using technology or don't, that kind of customize things so that it works for you? Certain classes. I'm in multimedia. Well, graphic design, we always do technology. We're always on the computers, and I actually like that class. It's really fun. Good. So graphic design. Yep. Great. Great, great. Um, so my next question for you is, is kind of a, a throwback. You had a really interesting question uh, answer a couple of uh, years ago. When students are in class uh, today and they need to know the answer to something, uh, how do they do that? Nowadays? Yeah. <laughs> they look it up on their iPads. Okay. They really do. They really do. <laughs> so they can just do it spontaneously. Yep. And do you think that's changed in the last couple of years? Yeah, it definitely has. Great, great, great. And um, if you are interested in a topic, um, uh, your own specific topic, um, and you want to learn more about it, uh, how would you go about doing that? I would look it up on the Internet. Okay. I think that has a more broader places to go and search for what you're looking for. Great. Great. So you start to look it up. And would you use uh, the school device or a home device? Uh, yeah. Either one. School device or home. Good. 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 Joe, do you think uh, the iPad has uh, transformed the way teaching is done here at Lamoille or not so much over the last couple of years? Not so much. I don't see like every single class like using the iPad, mm -hmm. but I mean there, there is a minority that is using it for class. Okay, great, great. Um, and my, uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, very good. All right. I think that's all the questions I had for <laughs> you. Uh, can I actually, I have one more question. Do you have any examples of classes that uh, use the technology like really well, like that really helps you learn? Not just kind of as well done, interesting, you know, but, but really helps you learn. Um, not really. No? I mean, haiku is like a very good place to go for like quizzes and stuff if you want to mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah. So chemistry is one. Good. Yep. So those digital platforms are yep, nice? Yeah, digital okay. platforms. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks. Take care. <laughs>